Hiya, it's Sheila, aka Car Booty Girl, and I've decided to upload a, another video. And this time it is a makeup review. So the other day I went into Superdrug, and normally I do not buy makeup at full price. But I saw these and I thought I'm going to have to pick them up, and I thought it's new makeup, so I might as well do a review. So. Like I just said, it was from Superdrug, so we'll get started. So, I picked this up, and it is I Love Makeup, and it's the I Heart Chocolate Salted Caramel, and that's the box it comes in. And the front is it, the front writing is in purple, so I'll open it up because I haven't. Just bear with me a few seconds because I've got to pull this off. So I'd seen these a few days beforehand and I just thought there was there was really cool. And I cannot get it out. Z box. So this is what it looks like. It is a chocolate bar. Looks like a half eaten chocolate bar. And on the back it says, I love makeup, salted caramel. And it says 16 eyeshadows inspired by our obsession with chocolate. So it's got quite a large mirror inside. And then it's got a little piece of cellophane on it with all the names of the, the eyeshadows. I think actually it smells like chocolate. It reminds me of the smell like chocolate. And you get a little brush in there. And I will tell you some of the colours now. So... I'll just take the brush out in case I tip it upside down and it starts tipping. So I'll tell you some of the colours. So starting from this side, starting from this side, this one here, this one's delicious. Then we've got this one, it's like a, a blacky colour and it's called Tempt. Then we've got another one, this one's definitely a matte brown and it's called Heavenly. Then we've got another definitely matte brownie colour, it's called Drizzle. This one on the end is a shimmery colour and it's another brown, it's called Enjoy. This is another shimmery brown and it's called Choc. Then we've got a pink shimmery and it's called Cake. Another matte brown and it's called Perfect. We've got like a, I don't know, like a charcoal-y shimmery colour and it's called Crunch. Then we've got another, I, I, I would say it's a brand, probably a transitional colour, and it's called Sweet. Then we've got a another shimmery brownie colour, and it's called Fudge. Then at the bottom we've got another shimmery colour, and it's called Salted. Then we've got a matte colour called Candy. We've got probably like a, it's a brand, but it's very shimmery, probably like a, I, I don't know, um, and I'm completely losing what I want to say. Anyway, it's a brownie colour, very shimmery, it's called Car Caramel. Then we've got another, I would say, a, a very, like it's like pinky brown, and it's called Spoon. And then we've got a big long one here, and that one's called Yum. So I'll take that one off, and I will do some swatches, just to let you know. Uh, we'll do this one here, this bluey colour. So I'll just run my finger over it and then run it on my hand. And it is a deep, deep colour. And that's the blue. I think it is a really, really nice colour. It's also quite iridescent. I'll show you what that's like on my finger. That's that one. I will do... I will do this colour at the bottom, it's like this pinky colour. And I will put it next to it, whether or not you can see it on my hand I don't know. Very iridescent again, let's put that there in a minute. And it's on my hand there, I don't know if you will be able to see it as such. I'll try and go as close as I can, but it's there. 
I'm going to do another dark colour. There's like a matte colour at the top. Oh, and it, it is. It look, it's definitely black. It looks black to me. So that's the matte colour at the top here. It's this colour here. And I will do one more. Um, I'll do another brown because I can't seem to get the, the light colours to go on my hand. So the one I've just put on is this one here. And it's there. And that one is matte. So this, I'm like wiping it on my legs. I paid $7.99 for this. And there was also other palettes like this too. There was a, a white one in this. And I did look at the tester and they, they are really, really nice colours as well. Um, there is a black one. I didn't look at the tester for that one. And I think there was another couple of palettes as well to do with the chocolate range. But I, I they don't think they was in stock. So that's what I picked up, 7 99 And I picked up some other things from the I Love... Um, I Love Makeup range. So I picked up some blushing hearts. And this was 4 99 And it's called Peachy Pink Kisses. And it says Triple Bait Blusher. And that's what the front of it looks like. And the writing on here is a shimmery purple. So it comes in a case that looks like that. On the back it says I Love Makeup Blushing Hearts. It's like in a goldy colour. That's the front. Then you open it up and that's what it looks like. And it is very shimmery, very iridescent. Now it says it's blusher, but in my honest opinion of this, if I didn't know it was blusher, I would honestly believe that it was highlighter. Because it just not it just doesn't come across to me as blusher. So I will swatch it on my finger and show you what it looks like. Very, very, very iridescent. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely adore this colour. I'll just put it on my hands at the bottom. So that's how it looks. It is just so, 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 so iridescent. And I love stuff like that. But in my honest opinion, I do believe it looks more like highlighter. I haven't tried it yet, so I wouldn't know how it goes on. So 4 99 and I think that was a good buy. But I honestly don't believe it looks like blusher. Then I got another one in I Love Makeup and it's called Lip Lava. And it's called Firestorm. And on the side it's a purple metallic and I love the colour. Absolutely love it. And it's called Liquid Lipstick with Vitamin E. And it says Intense Liquid Lipstick. So, I paid 2 99 for this and there was probably about 4 or 5 other colours like browns and purples. There wasn't many colours in this at all and that's what the, the casing looks like and then that's the top. I did try this yesterday because I did go to upload this yesterday, this video, and it went absolutely crap. So I will try this now. So I'm just going to use this mirror just to put it on and then I'll give you my version of it well my verdict so and that's squeezing at the top and it is it doesn't seem to just want to come out at all so I just put it on definitely not a glossy lipstick at all there's no gloss to it at all it's very very matte it's a very very intense red which I don't mind at all because I do like red when you're squeezing the tube it is hard to get it to come out up actually it's quite even though it's not glossy it's quite a it feels matte but it's quite a a sticky lipstick and I do really like it 
I think it's worth two ninety nine. So, in my opinion, yes, it is a good buy. So, yeah, yeah, it feels matte, but it's like it's quite a sticky lipstick. But I don't mind that. And then I picked up another couple of products, and it says damaged product and this one is undress your skin shimmer highlighter iridescent gold and it says lightweight powder that transforms your complexion with a loose luminescent shimmer and all the top was broke so I had to chuck that in the bin and it was three pound but now gone down to a pound and it's basically your bog standard highlighter so no good trying it on my skin because it probably just won't show up so that's that so three pound down to a pound yep can't go wrong with that then i got another eyeshadow it was damaged product again and it's 4.99 down to a pound and the front of it is really really shimmery so that's the front of it and I've got to be careful with this because it is a bit broken inside. So I will try and swatch it. If I can get the camera to show it up, which I bloody doubt it. And it is definitely probably a highlighter on the brow bone, but that's what it looks like. Whether or not the camera picks it up is... Mm, I ain't got a clue. But... It's really iridescent and really shimmery and for a pound you can't go wrong. I just need to make sure that I tip all the excess out of it because there's a lot of excess in here where it's been broken. So, there are the few items that I picked up. Um, to do with this um, palette I'll probably get probably the black one and the white one at some point because it's just, they look really, really, really cool and quite cute as well. So... My advice if anybody's in Superdrug, go try out these palettes because they are really cool and they have got some basically some really really cool colours in. So that's some of the colours. Nice really for palettes at like $7.99. So that's basically it for my video. So if you like my video, give it a thumbs up, share it, like it. If you want to leave a comment, I don't mind comments. And if you've got any ideas for any videos that you want me to do, just put it in the comment bar and I'll see what I can do. So until next time, bye-bye.